What's up guys, welcome to my channel. What if I tell you that you can access the contents of your phone, of your Android phone on your computer? So in this video, we are going to discuss how you can access the contents of your phone, like photos, your messages, and even like your reply to messages and notifications of your phone on your Windows computer. So I'll be discussing how to uh, install the, the applications, uh, how to set up the applications, and, uh, and all the process behind it. So let's get started. To get started with this video, there are like two requirements that, that you have to make sure that you have. The first one is either you have a, like um, the most recent uh, Samsung phone like Note 10, Note 10 Plus, S10, S10 Plus or you have uh, any other Android phone but the, the Android version you have is actually Android 7.0 or higher. For example, I do have Android version 9. And the second requirement is actually to have a, have a Windows computer that has the Windows 2018 October update or later. Since I have a Samsung S10 Plus phone, uh, there's a feature in, in, the, in the phone itself. Uh, when you drop down your notification panel, you can see there's a button called Link to Windows. It should be right. Uh, it should be present in your notification panel, and uh, you need to click on that, and it will open up a window saying that uh, sign into your Microsoft account. And in case uh, you have like uh, older phones, in that case, what you need to do, you need to actually install an application from your Play Store and uh, the application is called your phone companion if i can type that right your phone companion link to windows and as you can see i do have by default installed in my phone uh, i did not install it manually uh, this came with my samsung update but in case uh, you know you have like older or any other version of android phone then you need to install this uh, application from play store so go ahead and install this application and once you're done uh, let's go back and uh, click on this uh, button again link to windows and we need to sign in with your Microsoft account so click on this button called sign in with Microsoft so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, type in my uh, Microsoft uh, email address that I used to sign in uh, sign in in, in my uh, Windows computer uh, once you're done uh, you need to actually uh, approve some permissions so that your phone can actually access the content or this app actually can access the permission so go ahead and click continue So, we, so I'm going to switch to my computer now. But before that, uh, let me show you how you can find out the email address that you use to actually sign into your computer or Microsoft account. Go to your start menu and just uh, type account and uh, click on this uh, button called manage your account. And uh, there you will see that you know uh, your email address is listed there. So that's your email address that uh, you have used to sign into your Microsoft or this uh, Windows computer. So this is your email address that you need to sign into your, your phone companion app on your phone. Once you have done that, so just click on the start menu again and start typing your phone. As you can see, there is the first app. Uh, it's right there on your Windows computer. Uh, this app, um, I have not installed this app myself. This was actually installed by Microsoft itself. Um, when they actually pushed out the windows uh, 2018 october update so that's what and this is what our second requirement was uh, if you didn't have this um, there's a workaround and instead you can actually download the app manually so for example go to microsoft store so click this go to microsoft store and search for the app called your phone and you can actually install this app manually if your computer does not have this app automatically by itself. So uh, just click on this get button and the app will be installed on your computer. So I do have it installed on my computer so I'm just gonna launch the app. And as you can see it, it automatically links your phone because you have already um, started working on your phone right. And it says uh, you need to connect your phone. To the to the app on your computer so what you need to do you actually need to approve some permissions on your phone so let's do that you will see this message on your phone and click allow to actually proceed you can allow you can deny, deny that's fine so as you can see it says connected to your pc so as you can see um, i have uh, like connected my microsoft account and it says connected to roger that is my um, computer's name and and using this button you can actually disconnect like if you want uh, maybe you are outside and don't want uh, like someone at home to actually view the contents of your phone on your computer you can click this button to disconnect the phone 
to your computer so uh, now you are connected and let's see what it means on your computer so let's see what the, what's the status on your computer is so once i click the c text button you can see these are all my text right on my computer and uh, i can just i can read all the transactions all the messages that i got on my phone let's check out the photos tab and as, as you can see the photos are right there so these are actually the tw last 25 photos because this app actually is capable of uh, showing you last 25 photos from your phone on your computer so you can right click on the photo and also save as and uh, save it on your computer so let's uh, save it and as you can see it's a HEIC codec which uh, was shot by my phone so this is actually a very quick way of uh, transferring your photos to your computer and uh, just as a reminder using this app on your computer you can actually you can only view the photos and, and the text messages you cannot delete the photos because it's, it's like a copy of your phone on your computer you cannot delete the photos and similarly uh, you cannot delete the text messages even by right click or something however you can actually in indulge in a conversation and there's another tab called notifications so let's get started click on that and using this we can actually uh, get like uh, live notifications uh, from my phone on my uh, computer right there so let's set it up so we need to click on this button and also allow the access which i'm gonna do on my phone click on the allow button and all the notifications will now uh, come on my uh, computer and as you saw I uh, just got a like text message right there on my notifications tab and you can actually respond to the text message uh, by you know just um, typing whatever so I'm gonna respond to the message so as you can see uh, the phone and the and, and the computer are both in sync so this app is actually uh, really helpful uh, for, for example uh, you, you forgot your phone uh, somewhere maybe at home and you know you need to access the content maybe to reply to text messages at work or maybe you are at work and you know you don't have um, the access to your phone uh, but you can install this app on your on your computer this app also shows you the, the battery remaining on your phone and if you enable this option called uh, phone screen and then go to the phone screen tab it will again ask you for a permission and uh, once you click uh, start now on, on your phone you can see it actually displays the phone like uh, you know um, the actual phone on your computer right there so see i'm actually like navigating on my phone you can swipe right there and um, put in your password let's click on the gallery if i click uh, click right there in my gallery you can see all the images uh, i'm gonna exit out uh, let's drop the notification bar let's click the weather you can see the weather uh, temperature right uh, here at the moment so you can actually uh, use all the apps in your phone using this uh, button called phone screen isn't that beautiful you have access to entire phone on your computer so imagine like you forgot your phone at home you are at work you don't need to go back and get your phone your phone is right there on your computer and this is pretty much it from this video I hope you liked this video and it was useful for you and if it was hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Alright guys, I'll see you in the next video.